known as one of the most haunted hotels in all of San Francisco. And we didn't come here to stay at a five star. We came here to stay in one of the most haunted hotels. So without any further ado, let's go inside and get checked in, shall we Jake? Experiences? Nope. Mm -mm. None? Have you heard anything? Nope. Nothing. Okay. So, so far, she, she kind of like said no right away. I don't know if it was maybe because she was trying to like drive us, like to make us not, not stay, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think it was the camera. You think? Yeah. She think she saw it right away? Yeah. Okay. So I think it was like she didn't want to be on camera. Yeah, so she immediately said no right away. Yeah. And then I was like, any stories? Nope, right away. So I don't know. That seems a little weird. I think we should ask the concierge if we he do have any cool. questions. He does seem cool. What chair? the? It's a cool chair. Because, you know, elevator rides get tiring, especially if you have to go to the fourth floor like us. I get the weird vibes in this Weird place. vibes. And the lady was very strange. Anyways, I'm excited to see what this room is going to look like. Does it not feel like we're in the Titanic? It really feels like, like I it. feel like it's Titanic. Okay. 411. The Mary Lake Suite. It smells like old person. It's got a TV in this one, and it's not like the last one. But this is totally like, it's really cool vibe because it's like Victorian, you know what I mean? It's very Victorian. I feel like I literally am like a high class person on the Titanic, I don't know why. Let's check this whole room out. We got some old chairs, we got some very old, everything is just very old. That honestly looks like something mom would have in her house though. Yeah. Bathroom, oh my God, look at this little toilet. Last time I one of those, it was so hard, I had to grab it with my hand. I guess it doesn't flush. No, I don't think, I think it's the cleaner butthole. Got it, makes sense, makes a lot more sense. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's kind of bare minimums, you know what I mean? They could have at least replaced the door instead of just trying to paint over it. But this is original. I, yeah. So, I don't know if you feel the same way, but I just kind of feel like in this room, it's almost like a, like a, a, a vibe of like authority. I don't know, like, and I, I was doing research on this room and uh, it's the Mary Lake Suite. Basically, this was a boarding school. This whole place was a boarding school for little girls and uh, Mary Lake was like the headmistress. This was her office. And supposedly, there's only two haunted rooms in this entire hotel. It's this room and 411. I think 411 is only haunted because of this room. And uh, the only, only weird situation is, is that Mary Lake didn't actually die in this hotel. She died like a couple of miles away. But supposedly, she still haunts this place. Interesting. Feels very old. It feels very old. Um, we got one bed, so we're gonna have to cuddle up tonight, like always. The shapes of the room is weird too, like the angles. Like that wall. Oh, that's very interesting. And then you have just like a random, I don't know, just like this random wall right there. Like, what's the point? And then I you have that random shape right there in that wall. Oh, uh, this? It's like hollow. I don't know, I think we should check out this whole hotel and then um, we'll get into some haunting stories about this place. Okay, so on this little trip, I decided to bring something a little different. This is an EMF reader. Basically, it picks up on electricity and energy that is uh, brought to it, so these lights will be moving if something is trying to communicate with us. So. I guess we're gonna hold this, walk around, and let's see what we can find. There is this door that's locked. Why is that door locked? Is there anything here with us? Is there anything here with us? Make the lights move. Can you make it go yellow? Before we 
determine this. Let's see if there's anything that's causing it. Oh wait. There might be some kind of electrical field. I don't think it's paranormal. I think something's just weird there. That's just an empty wall. Go up there. So it's almost, look at this. This wall is just drywall. So it means something was here and they closed it off for a reason. There is a very cold breeze. It's cold right here, but turn the light off. Let's see if we can get it to move with these lights. If there's something here that would like to communicate, please use these lights to communicate with us. Twinkle the light so that I know you're here with us. We got one little light, so that's weird. Can you do it again? It's really cold over yeah. here too. That is the sky. It, it's almost like why are these stairs here is my question. Should we open this up? What does the sign say? Emergency exit only. That's right. We're literally on the edge. Yeah, that's all it is. I don't want to be another stereotype. I don't want to be talking to you through this, all right? Come back. Okay. Look at this. This door is sealed shut, too. Do you see that? Yeah. It's almost like they don't want you to go into these for a reason. Why is there a there. door? Do we have a flashlight shine? Can we see? <laughs> Of the angels. Interesting. It's all the pictures, though. No, because look. Look at this picture. Let's try this picture. Huh. But as soon as we go to the angel one, it was just yellow. It's barely, it was like we were on yellow. Look, nothing. Just, we got one. Yeah. Let's go down to the lobby. <laughs> All these, I think, are made to look like angels and they're looking down at us, right? Mm hmm. This woman is looking away from us. Yeah, it's kind of odd, isn't that? Can you flick these lights? Wait a second, what's this shadow? Hurry. Do you see it? Where? The shadow, it's moving. What the f*** is that? Oh, it's just the leaves outside. Have you ever had any uh, paranormal experiences in this hotel? Yes, I have. Uh, well, number one, uh, I've been working for this place for 21 years. Wow. And uh, there's been a number of experiences that I've been through and um, all kinds of guests. But in my case, I remember one time that when the guest called down and said, you know, like, can you bring us an extra, I don't remember this a couple of years ago, it was extra pillow or uh -huh. extra blanket. And it was on the fourth floor. And I took the elevator, the lever, back to the uh, elevator. And when I pushed you know, the button to bring me down to the lobby, the moment the, uh, the elevator doors closed and the elevator starts going down, like probably five seconds, uh -huh. six seconds, and then the elevator goes back up to the fourth floor. And then the doors start going like 
boom, boom, no boom, 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 like crazy, like, and I'm like, whoa, yeah, that's insane. It, yeah, and then boom, then close, and then it goes brings me all the way down to here, and I'm like, what? what? The? Oh yeah, that's scary. Yeah, because we we specifically chose room four ten because we heard that. <gasps> oh, that's the, the most room. haunted room. And the reason why is because this place was built in 1890. For Miss Mary Lake, she was mistress of Senate of Fair then. So what she did with this place, she established the finishing school for girls, uh -huh. and and they said she loved the, you know, she loved her place so much that she's still here because she that was her room 410. Okay. You can see on this floor, this entire area where for classroom, uh -huh. gymnasium, kitchen, and dining room, but then. On the second floor, there were more classrooms, Miss Mary Lake's offices, and then the third and the fourth floor were the dormitories. Oh. So, so that's where she, she like, like, did she live in that room? She, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So, unfortunately, we don't have access to the attic, uh, only the owners of this place. Dang, that'd be cool to go in that. Or even the, um, the basement. Mm. I found out, I used to like some special guests to shut them down the, you know, the basement. Oh, oh man, that basement is spooky. There's no way we can get down there? I don't think so. Let's take a look here. There's any access. See what happened with the attic? They put up uh, But not in the, in the past, it used to be just open. Oh, this uh, is right. creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. It is. Yeah, What's down there? It's a basement, but it's, it's like, I remember the years when rain season is here and then and then one of the things that i have to do is to go like downstairs every two hours to make sure about the flooding it was like yeah. oh i was like i was like oh no my god <laughs> like, i don't want to go no because every time i go down there and then you're in the middle of oh no 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 you can feel i mean really? you can uh, it's, yeah, it's, oh yeah that that's yeah. spooky okay i'm here at 11 o'clock tonight so if you guys have Definitely. more questions or anything we'll come down and ask yeah and then guests, guests will say, oh my God, it's like, we have to be very careful because some guests is like, um, is this place haunted in any sense? And we see like, we say yes. These people will go like pack and leave uh, on the spot. And we don't, but when we know this like, people like us, yeah. Cause, yeah. Yeah, cause we were wondering when we came in, we asked the front desk lady, we're like, is it haunted? She was like, nope. And I was like, have you ever had experience? She's like, nope. <laughs> like right away, she was like, no, no. And I was like, well, well that's kind of strange, but now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. We are in for a big one. Let's go grab some drinks across the street. Yeah. It makes total sense now. Like, why I, she was I get like why that. she said no. See, at first, like, I was like, why is she, like, why is she so, like, closed dooring? You know, like, she just, like, said no right away, but it makes sense just because he just said people get scared off. And depending on what kind of person they are, if they're a person like us that are looking for this, then they're more open to telling us like he was just telling yeah. us. Yeah, that's weird. That is really strange. All right, the one good thing that comes out of our room is that we're right next to a liquor store, so uh, we got some brewskis, baby, Woo! for the long night. You know what's really crazy about this place? I was doing some uh, reading and it said that this was one of the only buildings on this block that survived the 1906 earthquake. So it's like, this is, has a lot of history because it maintained itself, but a lot of people probably died during that time. Yeah, it looks like it's like the only thing that's still original. Like everything else around looks it newer. looks completely new. Yo, wait, why is our room white light like that? It should be yellow like the rest of the room. I, the lights were on, unless you turn the lights off. I didn't turn the lights off. I didn't turn the lights off either. You had to literally go around and turn each one off. So Where what's- I don't know, it's white light, like, it looks like it's kind of like flickering. Yo, fuck this. What the fuck? What's that noise? Yo, all of our, all of our stuff's on the bed. Yo, why is that flashlight on? What's that, no, why? Yo, why is all our stuff out? The fuck's that noise? Did someone come in here? Wait, why is the flashlight pointing at the paintings and it's like an angel that was going off in the... Let's see if this... Getting nothing. Hold on. All of our stuff is here. Nothing was stolen. 
everything's just laid out on the bed. And it's not like it's messy. It wasn't just dumped. Like, it wasn't like someone was trying to break Everything in. Everything's just nicely laid. Hold on. Let's see if we can... Is there anything in here with us? Please use the light. Rub your hand over this. Just move your hand over this. It should change the colors. We'll know you're here. If you want to communicate. Do you think like one of these people would come in here? Like We have to go back to the him. That was a weird noise. But it also sounded like, sounded like was someone turning. turning off a TV almost. Yeah, like an old TV. And the TV's off, right? Yeah, but it has a weird color hue. That's on. Mm hmm. That's off. That's weird. That's what the sound sounded like. Yeah. Couldn't make no sense, but what was the guy talking about? About the ghost? Like, why is she here? What did he say? Taking care of people. Tucking them in at night, right? <gasps> what? Someone just walked by the door. There's, there's someone there. So I was doing some research on this room in particular, and it says the ghost was reportedly incredibly friendly and often takes care of the hotel guests as best as it can. Unpacking suitcases tucking guests in and singing to them while they fall asleep. This is a ghost that wants everyone to feel at home here. Interesting. Interesting. It unpacks. And while you were looking that up, I found a video of someone playing music and you can hear like a voice in the background. Can really? We... Let's watch it. Okay. Okay, there's a theory that if you play music during an investigation, you have a better chance of catching an EVP recording. That's what it says. That night we caught this. Do you hear that? Twist my nipples and call me Shirley Temple. That is a full on like kid's voice. It could be like a little girl or like a, a young boy. I can't tell. I can't tell either. But if it's but a, like, this is an all this was an all girl. Story. Yeah. So, so it, it has, has to be, to be a, a girl. little girl. And that's weird. Yeah. Like I always like picture like, yeah, you could see ghosts like, kind of, you know, you see shadows and stuff. But I never thought you'd actually hear like a, like a, that's a full voice. Like I've watched ghost shows, they catch like little sounds. Like we've caught little sounds and little things that we think are voices, but they're very deep and faint. This is full on. This sounds like there's actually a kid in that room. We're gonna try this tonight. We're gonna set up an experiment. We're gonna play some classical music when it gets a little bit later, and we're gonna see. And what this experiment is gonna consist of is we're gonna play some classical music, and we invite you to sing along, enjoy yourself. This is your room. We're just visitors. If you want, you could turn on one of these lights or you could wave your hand over this EMF detector. I'm gonna play some music. Some good old classic music that we all enjoy. If you're here, please give us a sign that you're here. Brian, look behind you. Show me, show me, show me, show me. I feel your presence. Make it known. Can you make with these lights change colors? Can you do it again? We just want to communicate. I'm going to play another song. Please, turn on another flashlight. I just want to know that you're here and you want to communicate with us. Can you turn on the green flashlight? For a second, I'm gonna reset this flashlight.
I don't know, for a second I felt like there was something here, you know? And now I don't feel anything. Maybe we'll try again later. Yeah. But for now, let's uh, just relax a little relax, bit. Relax, get comfortable, maybe watch some TV. Let's let it get a little later and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna set up this webcam to roll all night just to be safe. You never know. I always do it every time we go to one of these hotels. It's gonna roll all night long. And uh, we also have all the flashlights. We have all the still. flashlights going, so if anything gets turned on, we will know. Then that camera over there will pick it up, and I'll be holding onto this one all night long. That's gonna be right there. I have my phone right next to me, so we're always ready, no matter what could possibly happen. Um, yeah, and I guess we'll just kind of like cake it for a bit, and whenever we fall asleep, we'll fall asleep. Did that just turn on? And we both didn't wake up, but we both knocked out. Yeah, that's crazy. That's it. Okay guys, so we made it. We made it through the night at the Queen Anne Hotel. There's definitely some paranormal activity going on there. I'm excited to get home and check out all the footage because we might have caught something without even realizing that we caught it. What we know we caught is absolutely freaky. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Halloween is getting closer. Let me know in the comments down below, where's the scariest place you've ever gone? Should I go visit? Let me know. Till next time, pick up some merch, BrendanTaylor.com.